Oh no! We're getting arrested now. Oh, I'm covered. You gone? Hey, how you doing? Just... Yeah. What are you up to, boss man? Oh, you got Febreze and everything in here. Well, yeah. Next time we gotta buy your cop car, cause ours smelled like sweaty balls. That, that's why you need to get you some from <laughs> When you're chasing perpetrators, like you get sweaty. And they're sweaty too. Right. And they gotta ride in your car. Then you give them a little shot of that and they smell good. <laughs> Ooh, that's good stuff. <laughs> no, yeah. See, now you're ready. So you been down doing anything good? He's looking for you. Oh, no. Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, kind of sad to say, because the smoke sting is broken. I know, you might not think so. We'll listen to it. It runs good. It sounds good, but uh, the transmission's broken, and we got to fix that. But before we do that, there's one small, itty-bitty thing we need to do first. So uh, now it's pulled inside and we'll show you exactly why we got to pull the transmission out. The tranny works just fine. It's just cracked and leaking all over the ground. All right, guys, you're ready to see this. My buddy Dom was helping us for about a week while he came back to town and he took and used an impact to put this short pan on here because we had a thick pan and the thick pan was hitting the ground. Anyway, he used an impact on the transmission, sunk one of the bolts too far into the pan and ended up cracking the entire this side of the case we tried to flex seal it that didn't work i think we tried duct tape that didn't work we definitely tried bailing wire that didn't work so now we're just up to we got to pull this out and put a new one in which is sad because that thing cost a lot of money hey the good news is it's not even leaking on this side it's just leaking on that side that's like saying there's not a problem with our boat there's just a hole on your side of the boat my <laughs> side of the boat is just fine that's true my side of the boat is fine <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. Don't just get wore out when you're jacking it too hard. I love you, Smoke Stang. I'm sorry. Don't worry, we're gonna get you fixed right back up to noon. You're gonna be out there gapping fools again, blowing smoke everywhere, doing burns. God damn, that thing's heavy. I wasn't worried about how much it weighed when I made that, that's for sure. Or put the 12 out in it. Hey, what do you mean? 12 hours of light. Compared to what? My last girlfriend? girlfriend? Oh, she break free. There it goes. She just needs a little bit of prying. There we go, we got it. Oh, there we go, she's out, baby. She looks good, besides for the big old crack over here. You can kind of see where we had to flex seal the crack. It cracked it right in there. It's so sad, because it's like, there's nothing wrong with this thing besides for it's cracked. All right, guys, we're gonna send this back to Power Driven Diesel. They're gonna take and completely rebuild it, put a new case in it, and uh, then the smoke stain will be back up and running. Oh, they sent a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah! Is it extra fat? Dude, it's three extra fat. It's perfect. <laughs> oh shit, look at that! They wrote us a message on the inside of the bell housing. Gap edition smoke staying ready. You wanna do the pumping or do you want me to? Oh. Oh, you got it into two speed now. Did this fall in? Oh. There we are. Hand me a bolt. I'm in on my side. Bro, that was nice. Dude, that fit good. Dude, this is actually just flying back together. Bam. Put drive line in, fill it up with fluid, hook the shifter up, and we're back to doing burnouts. Oh. I might have up that. And bam. There you go. All the way in. Here's the thing. We threw the transmission in the smoke stain last night, filled it up with fluid. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Now let's see if we can get her started.
Go take her for a rip, see how she runs. Make sure the transmission works. We need to make sure it drives all right. Make sure that everything's good on it. The smoke sting is really good at marking its territory. When it's running good, it's two straight lines of rubber. When it's running bad, well, kind of looks like that. Come on! Don't do this to me! I love you! Good news, the car is fixed! All we really had to do is flush the radiator and bam, it don't even heat, overheat no more. It's not leaking, it's ready to rock and roll. And to make sure that it's ready to go, we're going to road trip at 150 miles the drag strip. Try to run down the drag strip and see if we break it. Will we? Probably not. Navigate to Mocan Dragway. 149 miles, easy. She's a cruiser, she don't care, she'll be fine. Imagine if this thing gets like 25 miles a gallon going over here. This might be the most economical, MPG-friendly thing I own. Gotta get as much in there as we can so we don't run out. Oh, yep. She filled up, ready for the road trip. Eight gallons, 42 freaking dollars. How is that fair? We're full of fuel, it's 149 miles away. Let's see if we make it all the way there. Oh, this car is mad. You are maddy mad, Mr. Buick. This car flew around my brother, which is following me, and then almost ran into the back of us. It's been sitting on my ass like that, trying to go around on double yellow. <laughs> I have a problem. The throttle is currently stuck, and we're doing 100. I shouldn't get into it, because if I can't let off, I might run into the back of her. Now that she's went around, we should probably fix our throttle issue because I'm not on it and we're doing 85. So, shut her off. It's not even wide open. It's like stuck like halfway, maybe a quarter, but we definitely can't go down the track like that. Okay, hold on. I think I figured it out. Yeah, working fine there. The problem was we just put a brand new uh, shutoff solenoid on it. When we did, the throttle cable was on top of it, which was binding it up. Now it's fine though. It's a good time to stop and check everything. Oh, well, we got some motor oil over here leaking, but you know how it is. There ain't oil under them, they ain't oil in them. Yeah, it's about a half a gallon low. It's fine, it's still got a bunch, but it's, it is low. Holy my God, there's a little everywhere. The uh, drain on the bottom turbo is leaking. I think something else is leaking. Think something else is leaking? Oh, it's coming out of the feed line for the big turbo. We may not have brought any oil. Oh, that's a nice turbo. Oh, can I do burnouts in your parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say you can or can't, but I'm also not gonna call call on you either. So. Oh, okay. It does both. Yeah, it does. It does video. It does pictures. And if you want to use that fuzzy thing on top to take over your balls, you can. <laughs> you didn't do this. I did this. So what? What? What gave you the idea to do this? Well, I was bored. Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Is that good? Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Come. All right, we're at the gas station. It's like a mile away from the drag strip, and it's 150 miles over here, and we got a 10 gallon tank, so we did better. 10 miles a gallon. It does kind of feel weird pulling a Mustang up to a diesel pump though. I will admit. So uh, what kind of fuel mileage do you think you got? Six gallons. 151 divided by six. 25 miles a gallon! Can't beat oh, yeah. that. It's better than my Suburban. wonder what it got with the EcoBoost in it. it We're just gonna like say it's bad. worse than 25. EcoBoost got like, I don't know, 10 miles a gallon this. Better. <laughs> we just got done filling up fuel. I went to fire it up to drive out of here. This is kind of just decided to fall the hell off. So we missed the, the pulley fell off and now the belt's off. I fired it up and, I'm like, and it squeaked and it kind of bogged down for a second went, and then smoke started coming up. I'm like, what in the hell? You know what sucks though? The drag strip is just one mile that way and the car broke. And it ran all the way to right here. Shut it off, it was fine. 
fired it back up and it must the last bolt must have fell out and is that a cummins yeah 12 out in your video man it was crazy i was going over here getting getting some gas and it's like i was just watching that video the other day oh i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> you from around here yeah i live just a couple miles over here where's the nearest like o'reilly's auto zone be in town uh pittsburgh how far is that probably you're probably four or five miles from o'reilly's really yeah Okay, she sent a pics of me before they hit the ground. All night we run them numbers on a fitness sand. This is cricket match, couple day affair with your wife. You think she leave it with my hoodie, told her give it back. Stop off at the hometown, looking like I'm still the man. I see some epitomes of what it's like to finish that. I wonder what it's like to drop a name, feeling that. Oh. <laughs> Shit. We got the drag wheels on the back. I turned the smoke screw in. We got 12 PSI air in these, which they're not bead locks, which is not advised. Don't do it at home, ladies and gentlemen, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna go out here, give it maximum effort. She's either gonna blow up, go fast, or go slow. Now we're getting ready to find out which one. All right, baby, let's do this. Torque converter locked, so as soon as we go into second, she should be fine. nearly quick enough but it went all right i don't know i don't think that was very fast though i'm not sure oh yeah it was super slow 13.5 why was that so slow that was slow that was really slow i think we can do a lot better i didn't leave on a whole lot of boost and then i didn't shift it early enough i need to like that's the thing you forget with this car is you gotta be over here just ready to blah 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 so that one wasn't a very good run so we're gonna run it again the dipstick? Yep. God dang. A lot of pressure in there but we'll let the dipstick. Oh, she's hurt. That could be explained why it's slower. The only hope that I can think of is that when we put all this back together, we didn't give it enough fuel by sliding the AFC housing forward enough, so. You already did that. I did. I turned it up then because I'm like, it needs more, but now it needs even more. You think the engine's hurt, dude? I'm not sure. It blew a bunch of oil out the dipstick. Yeah, it... Oh, shit. God damn. Guys, here's the deal. I don't think the smoke uh, tank's gonna go any faster. There seems to be something that's not making as much power and the transmission is just not hooking up like I want to. There's a big old gap between third and fourth. I think if we go back out there and try to push harder, there's a chance we might hurt the engine. And we physically can't because this car has to be in California next week to do something insane and crazy, which you guys will be seeing eventually. So we gotta keep it in one piece. We've came out and we've proved it'll drive here and it'll go slower down the drag ship. <laughs> I always love to make progress on this channel. 